Is this place open yet? Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and earn our next heart container while we're at it. We're doing so many things at once. We might run into a few things along the way, like this place here. Now, you have to go in as Goron Link. Otherwise, nobody else will win it but Goron Link. When does he get all the luck? I don't know. Probably because he's a Goron, and Gorons are big and stupid. But in the middle. Come on. I am pissed. I just want to get through this, all right? Sometime today would be nice. I have a video to shoot. Why don't they let me go through when I shoot a video? Hey, look at that. We did it. We did it. Eventually, you'll find your way across. And a heart container, or heart piece, waits for you. Thank you very little. I am done. Don't ask me to play again. No, I'm not going to play again. You can take these lit rupees I gave you and shove them up your nose. I'm sure that you'll probably enjoy that. Let's proceed. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go down to West Clock Town. We're going to get some powder kegs in West Clock Town. Shall we say a powder keg? There are so many things you can see and do. Well, let's hold on to our rupees. Go into the bomb place. Now, still, as Goron Link, we're going to go inside and talk to this Goron over here. Now we can buy a powder keg from him. He will sell it to you for 50, and that's exactly how much I have left over. All right, let's leave here. We're going to Milk Road now. Let's stay as Goron Link. He can travel lots faster. We're going to Milk Road now. And it's still relatively early in the day, so... Let's go ahead and open up the pathway with our new powder keg. This is the only way that you can save that sister from being abducted by aliens. So go over here to the rock. I won't even bother to hear what this old man has to say. You drop that down, give it a little nudge there, and he's going to go over here where it's safer. I thought I could break it. Not with that pickaxe you won't. You'll be there for three days. I could do it in just one, not even a full day. Yeah, it's open to traffic, all right. And it's also open to alien attack, and this time you'll be able to see it. And not only will you be able to see it, folks, you'll be able to participate in it and prevent it. This is how we're going to get Epona. We need Epona. Yes, back to the cinematic of finding your horse. Now look, there's the little sister. See, she's just running by with her bow and arrow. She wants to be an archer when she grows up, but she thinks she is already. And she's going to train you on archery. She's going to train Link on archery. That's right, she's going to train Link. So get off that Goron mask and show up as Link. Who are you? I'm Romani. Sounds like a brand of wine. Just give her your name. She'll call you Grasshopper anyway. It doesn't matter. Now she's going to tell you about the story of they. It's not them, because we don't want any copyright infringements on a famous movie, but they come at night. They steal your cows, and they will abduct your children in the night. Especially when you get in their way. And that's what they look like. Their prime objective are cows. Oh, she'll believe you, all right. Yes, I will try. This is how she gives you Epona. Okay, now, on your horse, since you already know Epona's moves, you can already easily just assume I can get on Epona's back and ride, ride, ride. Break those balloons as quickly as possible. You are timed on this. 
You have unlimited arrows, so use them, like I said before. Use them, use them, use them, but don't abuse them. You don't want to have an arrow come firing back at your ass. Let's see if we can get that one way over here. Almost got it. Nope, then we're going to have to get closer. We can get you. Let's turn around here. Okay, got that one. Got that one. Let's speed on out of here. Hark, hark, I see more ahead of us. These are where the them are going to be. This is just a simulation, but this is where them are going to be. So remember where they are positioned. Your job will be to defend the barn by holding off their... No, come on. Don't go in the corner. What are you doing? Duh, I'm Epona. Can I take you in the corner? Screw you, Epona. There you go. You got them all. Now, your main objective here is just to get Epona. That's not too bad, but she will give you Epona and teach you a song you already know. How she was able to figure out Epona's song is beyond me. But it's the same as the one in Ocarina of Time. It's up, right, left, up, right, left. Or is it up, left, right? I'm dyslexic. It's up, left, right, up, left, right. And there you go. She taught you a song that you were so sick and tired of hearing in the previous game. But now you know it again. In case you've gotten amnesia and forgotten all about it, they reteach it to you. Yes, I got all that. You don't have to ask me twice, Romani. Now go and sip your Merlot wine. I'll be on my eat my pony and be on my way. Now that we got faster transport, let's take Epona on out of here. <coughs> now you are to meet here at precisely 2 a.m. is when they arrive. So try to get here early, like at midnight if you can. And while you're here, you can always talk to the, uh, well, if, if Epona would quit writing into walls here, we'll show you that in another episode, I'll tell you that, okay? We'll go to the racetrack some other time. So I want to keep on the plan of showing you things as we go along. Now, I have a schedule to keep, and I would like to keep it. Try not to run out of carrots. Now what we're going to do is just going to park Epona right over here. I should have done that a long time ago and just gone straight to Snowheed or Snowhead. So let's warp there. But instead of going to Snowhead, we're going to go to the Goron Village. No, that's the Southern Swamp. There's the Mountain Village. But first... Let's go to that southern swamp. Remember the trading game. We're doing many quests all in one video. To show that even Link likes to multitask. Go to the southern swamp. And we are going to play the deed trade. Did I even give him the moon tier? No, I didn't. Damn it. We gotta go back to Clock Town. We forgot to give him the moon tier. Go to Clock Town first, then give him the moon tier. Then trade the deed over at the swamp, then trade the swamp's deed over in the mountains. That's how it works. Thank God for warping. Yes, I have one. Will you stop talking and let me give it to you? There you have it. He freaks out. He gives you the deed. Watch him fly away again. As if we haven't seen this cinematic sequence before. And now that you're standing here, let's go 
Warp to the southern swamp now that we have the deed to the clock town. Now you're going to need to talk to him as Human Link to show that you are from Clock Town. As everybody knows, only humans live here. Now, as if nothing ever happened, I'm going to race across this bridge, up the ladder. We've already done everything we could over here. Except for a few extra things, but I'll get to that later. <coughs> okay, he wants that deed, so give it to him. He will move to Clock Town. He will sell you magic beans there. Now you got a deed to the swamp. Now we can go to the Goron Village. And while we're there, we're going to deliver our sword to have it reforged. Then we're going to go in and beat Goat again, turn winter into spring in the mountains, and by the next day, get back our sword, give them the gold dust, they will reforge it into a brand new killer kick-ass sword. I'm going to try to do all of this in one video. It's going to be a bit long because this is going to be a prolonged sequence of things to do. Mountain Village. That's where we were going. It's winter time again in the Mountain Village. But now you have the power to th thaw this village out. Go inside. You will find that the whole smithing station here is frozen over so get out your trusty fire arrow we still have it in hand over here melt it down they will be extremely grateful this is the only character in Majora's Mask or two characters in Majora's Mask that have not been in the original Ocarina of Time so talk to him twice to reforge your sword is going to be 100 rupees Yes, it's, after you use it a hundred times, you'll lose its edge, it'll be back to normal, we don't want that. But we have to get it to that point, so that we can put gold dust in it, and it'll be totally reforged and permanent. So let's, now, throughout the whole game, you'll notice, I don't have my sword, I can't attack with my sword, that's okay. Where we're going, we don't need the sword. Let's go into Snowhead, and rekindle a flame with an old friend of ours. You'll find you'll have to defeat Goat several times. But you don't have to go through the entire dungeon. I will show you in a moment. Same as before, put the big Goron to sleep. And there we go. No need that fairy, not for what we're going to be doing today. Oh, I was getting ready to punch that thing and it knocked me down. And let's go up the slope. Up to the dungeon. Just like before. Now you start to see the pathway start to jet out from the side of the mountain. That is when you need to stop rolling because you'll easily fly off right here if you don't know what you're doing. Even if you do know what you're doing, it's still easy to fly right off here. Because as we all know, Shigeru Miyamoto's main role, and what is it folks? That's right. They have you do things over and over again even when you know you've done it right. He's still not satisfied. Now watch this. Here's a little shortcut you can do if you ever have to reface another enemy. This is the purpose for picking up the remains.
Now this just makes things move on a whole lot easier if you ask me. Now remember we're going in to face Goat and he'll still be frozen. Select yes to warp to the boss. And Goat will still be frozen. And it's just like you never faced him. Since you already got the remains, there's no point in going through that whole nonsense again. You just take it outside to where everything will be springtime again. Now that you have your powder keg, now no sense in going there. We're going to where the Gorons play. Since you already got your powder keg, we just drop it there and go. And there's the baby, right on schedule. Grab the powder keg, drop it down, and it will blow like nobody's business. There you go. Now I'm going to show you the Goron racetrack, and your first prize is gold dust. Let's go inside. Talk to the baby. Tell him you're going to race. Son of a bitch! go and our money trying to get in the lead now we need that gold dust I don't know why the Gorons need it but I need it for my sword Gorons need stones they don't need gold Link needs gold out of my way I might be able to do it but I don't want to speak too soon Oh, you fucking faggoty ass motherfucker. You asshole. That always happens around here. I always get run over. Pick back up speed because you never know. This race still might come out in my favor. You never, never know. Can we do it this time? Please say we can do it this time because it looks like it's just those two. And they got caught. Oh, yes. Yes. No, no, no. No. You guys aren't winning me. You guys aren't allowed to win. Now it's just me and you, asshole. Me and you and him and that one. Get out of my face. I'm winning this one. And it is me who wins this time. Thank fucking Christ. Thank God. I was going to... Hmm. And there's the gold dust. Now take the gold dust out of here. You don't want to race again. Let us look at the time now. Because we got a warp to do. Go over to Milk Road. I believe that does it for this video. Tune in as we continue the video into the next video, and we'll have videos galore. Stay tuned, won't you?